everyone welcome back to the channel so I once said that I will keep doing the beauty reviews because I know that a lot of people liked the collective beauty reviews as opposed to doing makeup tutorials and things like that so I am keeping my promise of doing the collective beauty review so I've been using a couple of things and I want to share these things with you because I've been going nuts about them I really don't want to lie I've been going absolutely crazy so we're here today we're doing another collective beauty review hope you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe comment like interact with me on um, uh, this platform because it really does help me out a lot and don't forget to click that notification bell so that you know every time I upload. I'm also here and there on the community tab, kind of getting into it a little bit. I'm so sorry about that. Kind of getting into it a little bit and um, yeah, I want to make it more of a common thing, but uh, time is just, time gets away with me, okay? But I'm here now. We're doing the collective beauty review, so let's get started. Let's get started. So I'm basically going to start with skincare, uh, body care, and then move on to makeup. I don't have anything else to show you apart from those things. Um, I The great thing is that I've been using things that have been in my makeup collection because I don't buy makeup much anymore i really don't i'd be lying if i said i did i don't um and i'm actually enjoying just getting back to using some of the things that i hadn't used in a long time but i'm going to start with the body care and skin care uh body care there's just really just three things that i want to mention first is so i picked this cookie dough uh, body scrub up from lush i picked up two of them one is currently in my shower right now i absolutely love this Oh, I love this body scrub. It is, um, it has scents of vanilla and patchouli as well. It's got a bit of like, it is not an abrasive body scrub at all. It's brown on the inside, as you can see. It also smells a little bit like chocolate. I don't know how they get that whole, you know, like chocolatey, nutty kind of vi vibe as well. Um, I really, really like how it just smells so good. It smells good enough to eat. I love the fact that it's not really as abrasive as uh, really raw sugar and salt scrubs. This one has a little bit of uh, pistachio oil in it. Did I say patchouli? I'm sorry. It's got pistachio oil in it, so it has a little bit of a um, film. As, as soon as you're done with it, that leaves your skin feeling so smooth, beautiful, soft. I absolutely have to mention this. I really don't buy Lush products that much anymore, but I love this one, and I had to mention it. And then a mask that I use for my face that I've, I've gone crazy over, and I've heard so many people speak about as well, um, is this one from Him Himalaya Herbals. This is the clarifying mud mask. I use this one especially. It's really, really good for firming up the skin after I've used it. It evens out the tone of my skin quite well, um, especially with things like wrinkles, which is something of a serious concern for me um, because I am getting older. So this works really, really well at uh, firming up the skin and evening out the tone of the skin as well. I really love this one. The price of these masks are really good as well. I've picked up about three or four of them and I love them. I really love them. Um, another one of my favorites is the cucumber one. Ah, I absolutely love that one. Great and hydrating as well. But this one, <laughs> this one is definitely, definitely a fave. Okay. And then two products from the Woolies Silk range are these two. This is the Silk Unwind Moisturizing Hand Cream. And then this is the Silk Nourishing Body Butter. I've been using these two like crazy. More especially the hand cream, which is almost finished. Um, I use this hand cream. I put it beside um, where I sleep on my bedside table. And I use it every single night after I've done my skincare. And I just want to, in fact, my hands are quite dry right now. After I've done my skincare it's white as you can see after I've done my skincare and washed my hands and washed my face all of that jazz and I prepared to get into bed I use this it is so nice it smells absolutely amazing very very nourishing very thick as well it actually reminds me of the L'Occitane um, 
hand creams which are actually quite pricey this one is about 60 rand if i'm not mistaken 55 60 rand and the lositan ones go for about 120 130 rand and they're much smaller than this so this absolutely love it smells very nice subtle calming as well really really love this whole entire range from uh woolies this is the um nourishing body butter which i've used a couple of times i'm very finicky about what i use on my body i like to switch things up quite a bit so i switch between this one right now and the avino body yogurt love both of them really really love both of them and i've got them both in my um skincare cupboard and body care cupboard and i use them on a daily basis really really love this one had to give it an honorable mention and then for my skin two la roche posay products that i have been using quite a bit um this one is the second time i'm using it and i am going to mention it because i loved it that much the first time around that i used it this is the la roche posay my water as you guys know i love the oil infused micellar water from garnier one of my favorite ones but i also really really enjoy using this one um and i've been using this one more than the garnier one for a while now this is the micellar water for for sensitive skin from uh, la roche posay i feel like i'm talking so fast i use this one to remove my makeup um after i have cleansed so it, i use it sort of like as a double lost just one more time um, and as somewhat of a toner as well uh, before I apply my skincare. So this is really, really good. I love this micellar water. Uh, before I come in with the micellar water, I use the Effaclar uh, Hydrating Cleansing Cream. I love this. I'm not a fan of foaming cleansers. I really like just either gel cleansers or cream cleansers. And this one has done the absolute most. I've been so impressed with this one. I went through a phase where I was looking for a, a new cleanser. The one that I was using was the Kiehl's. <clears throat> I'll put it here. I forgot the name. It starts with a C. It was a Kiehl's cleanser, but I moved on to this one and I really love it. Because it's cream, it feels really nice on uh, the skin and it removes the makeup quite quickly, actually. So I normally go in once maybe twice if i've got a heavy makeup day like today i'll probably go in twice uh before we go into makeup one last skincare product that i really love is from nukes this is nukes new i don't know how you say it it's french uh this is the youth and radiance revealing anti-aging care and this is something that i use in the evening time and i use it as a moisturizer for my face i absolutely love it you sort of just twist the cap at the top there and a little pump reveals itself and then you just pump in and then you apply on your face really been loving this it illuminates my skin quite nicely feels great on the skin sinks quickly into my skin and works really really nice at smoothing out and plumping there we go with the sun again smoothing out and plumping my skin let me finish off this bit smoothing out and plumping my skin uh especially at nighttime while i sleep which is nice because i wake up and my skin is feeling very fresh and radiant and uh plump full illuminated the very next day so absolutely love this one love it i think i think this one is going to definitely be a holy grail definitely then moving on to makeup now with the makeup i haven't really bought anything new i've been using makeup that i've had uh, maybe a couple of things here and there that are new but nothing too crazy the one primer that i picked up and i really want to talk about is the can't stop won't stop matte primer now for me in summer matte primers are really really great i like to use the more hydrating illuminating primers in the winter time but because i sweat and my t-zone gets kind of crazy in the summertime i really love this nyx can't stop won't stop primer especially around here it fills in my pores very very nice nicely and makes them look more um uh, makes this area quite matte and um, 
so the oils don't quite seep through throughout the day. Really, really love this one. In fact, it reminds me of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which I love. So I feel like this is a little bit of a dupe for that. I really enjoy this primer. Um, it's very comfortable. It doesn't leave the little bits. And if you've used matte primers before, you know that when you apply them, it sort of sort of seems like it's peeling off as you apply it. It's really, really weird. But this one, beautiful. Applies on quite well. Don't really use it all over my face. I literally just use it here on my nose and right here as well. Maybe a little bit there. But I really, really love it. I and to go with the primer, really been enjoying the Can't Stop, Won't Stop full coverage uh, foundation. I picked up this foundation when I was with Roxanne, a friend of mine, and um, she picked up her shade. And I picked up my shade and I've really been enjoying it. In fact, I've got it on today. Absolutely love this foundation. Um, it's a really nice long wearing foundation. It feels good on the skin. My shade is Nutmeg in case you are wanting to maybe pick it up. My shade is uh, Nutmeg and I really love it. It's clean, it's easy, it's simple. It applies on very well, very easily blendable as well. I use it with a brush one day and I use it with a uh, blender the next day. And yeah, it really just works well. I feel like as an everyday foundation, and you're looking for a really just cost-effective foundation as opposed to going to a high-end foundation, this is a really great foundation as an everyday foundation. Absolutely love it. And then eyelashes that I've been asked about there's a time where I did an Insta snap where I was wearing these eyelashes and everybody was like, oh my God, those eyelashes, those eyelashes. They're actually eyelur eyelashes. I use only eyelur eyelashes. Um, right now I'm going crazy over the Jordan, Jordan Woods ones. I really like them. But my favorite one, and they've always been my favorite one, and I've got them on today as well. These are the Fluttery Intense uh, 163 eyelashes. I've got them on today in case you might want to see them. I really like them. I feel like as an everyday lash, it's something you can use. It makes it, they're just really flirty uh, at the same time without being too intense. I can't, I really can't rock the really intense lashes like my sister does. I, I really can't do that. It's just, it's just, it's, mm, what's my top doing? It's just not me to wear those really crazy intense lashes, but my sister rocks them really well. But these ones are really lovely. They're not too, they provide a lot of volume, which is nice, but they're not too intense, which is also even better. Um, but you know, they're not too easy soft, but you know, it's a nice medium. An eyeshadow palette that I have been revisiting, I put this eyeshadow palette away for a long time, is the Tartlet in Bloom eyeshadow palette. And that's what it looks like on the inside. Oh, I dug my nail in there. Oof. That's what it looks like, really nice, warm colors. In fact, I've got this on my eyes today. Yeah. Not a great look, but yeah. But it really, the, these shadows are amazing. They're soft, they're buttery, they just glide onto the eye. They're very easily to, easy to blend as well. It's not a mission to try and get it to blend. I really, really love these, um, um, this eyeshadow palette. I put it away for quite some time. And then recently, I think about two weeks ago, I was going out in the... Um, afternoon on a Saturday afternoon and I wanted to play around with my eyeshadows a little bit but I did want to keep a really nice neutral look and I definitely I, I went into this and I went nuts I went crazy for it and I've been using it quite a bit ever since really love this I feel like you can still find it on um, Muse Beauty yeah definitely you can still find it on Muse Beauty and quite a few of these um, third seller shops on Instagram as well so you can definitely pick them up and then finally to end things off I've really been loving revisiting my MAC uh, liquid lipsticks these are the retro matte liquid lipsticks or matte liquid lipsticks I don't know I've got one on today in fact this is the one that I have on today this is the 
uh, the, the retro matte liquid lip color in So Me, one of my favorite ones. It's a very nice, cool tone, which is a nice entry into um, autumn for me. I really, really love this. And yeah, these are two of my favorites that I wanted to mention as well. This is um, Recollection and Feel So Grand as well. Really, really love these ones. And that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to mention. Those are some of my faves. The sun is doing the things again, so I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you in the next Collective Beauty Review. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.